Good morning, oracles. Well, here we are at the start of a new week. We are green slightly pre-market at the time of this recording. Let's see if that continues. Looks like we are getting news out of Shanghai that they will be opening up tomorrow morning for one shift. And today uh, on Monday, they are practicing going through kind of a dry run of, you know, can workers stay on site? through May 1st, eating there, sleeping there, bathing there, so that they can work on site to keep the production going. So how this is going to affect the company uh, with production, we shall see because one shift obviously is not the same as three. We'll see if this ramps up when we get more information, but it is still great news that they are going to be starting production back up tomorrow morning on Tuesday. So that's a great start there. We did get some uh, release of a TED Talk exclusive interview with Elon that just came out late last night. This is uh, what we had seen a little clip of during the TED Talk that we had seen last Thursday. So this was the entire clip. I was able to quickly go through it this morning to get a little bit of information for you guys. Not a lot of new stuff that came out of this. One little piece that I had picked up on was when Elon had spoken about, you know, the ultimate rough goal for sustainable energy is to have 300 terawatt hours of battery storage to be able to have sustainable energy. Tesla is looking to have about 10% of that. So that is going to be 30 terawatt hours of energy, which is huge. And to put that into perspective, Giga Austin is looking to be producing 100 gigawatt hours or 0.1 terawatt hours of energy. So just doing the math on that, how many different battery factories they're going to need over the course of time is significant. So that is a huge, huge S-curve that we can now look forward to going forward when it comes to just battery production and energy. And, uh, and so Elon was also asked about the time frame for Optimus. You know, and Elon did say that we're looking for a prototype this year and potentially next year or the year after to have uh, production for basically version one of Optimus coming out. And then, you know, they talked about the potentials of what Optimus could be used for. And Elon was asked, so, you know, how long would it be before you can buy, you know, your parents an Optimus for Christmas? And he said 10 years. So Elon is thinking that within 10 years, we will be able to see Optimus in your home very much like Alexa or a Roomba running around, but this is gonna be significantly more functional. So 10 years for Optimus, and that pushes the, the timeline way up. I was under the impression that we were gonna be looking at Optimus probably taking over some jobs in factories and stuff by 10 years from now, but to have them in the homes, that's a, that's a game changer. That is a significant game changer for sure. So let's see how we progress with artificial general intelligence over the next couple of years to see if this timeline can hold up. And then they discussed a bit about Starship and getting to Mars. And so Elon is looking to get a thousand Starships up and running and production is about one every two to three months right now. And by the end of the year, they would like to have it to be one every month being built. And they wanna have a thousand of them built because essentially trying to get a million people to Mars is going to be a huge piece that they're looking forward to doing in probably the 2030s he was talking about and this is like every two years sending up a thousand ships to mars to start building civilizations up there you know elon of course did say he'll be long dead by the time this actually happens but he would like to see some major progress in this direction before he dies and then he was asked about you know the synergy between all of his companies and, you know, if he's thinking about doing, you know, like a company X like had been spoken about and uh, and Elon said it's very difficult because Tesla is a publicly traded company. So, uh, SpaceX is private. Neuralink and Boring Company are very tiny. So putting it all together is is not easy. So he didn't say no, but he's definitely been thinking about it. So whether this is actually something that's going to happen, I think it's something that is on his radar, but right now is not the right time. I think a lot of stars need to align in the future for that to happen. Um, so I, I don't think it's actually something that's going to happen anytime soon, if at all, but it definitely could tell that he has thought about it and, and you know, it just doesn't seem right, or at least not right now. And Elon did agree that yes, Optimus can certainly be used on Mars to help with the civilization there. The Boring Company can definitely help with FSD by building underground tunnels. 
And so there is a great synergy between all of the companies, but Elon did say that that was not intended. It just happened to work that way. And I think it's because all of these companies and all of his focus is in the same direction to be able to help humanity out. And he did say that all of his companies are philanthropic companies. It is all for a love of humanity that these companies do what they do. So looking at, you know, how people in the criticism that Tesla and all of his companies get and Elon gets, Elon is doing all of this out of his love for humanity. And the fact that it gets derailed by the media so often because he's a billionaire or because, you know, he tweets silly things all the time and, you know, whatever it is, it's, you know, it, Elon said himself, it doesn't really bother him much now because, you know, it's, it is what it is, but it is, you know, it's frustrating the fact that, you know, we have a left side who says that they're for climate control and climate change, and that's what Tesla is all about, but they then, they bash Tesla and Elon. So the, the hypocritical contradictory uh, thinking and logic that goes behind it drives me nuts. Um, I would imagine it's got to bother Elon, but Elon's just focused on doing what he believes is the right thing for humanity, and he's just going to keep on doing that. And then some quick numbers that got thrown out there where Elon was talking about, you know, one minute of thinking about Tesla could equate to $1 million for the company. And so he's like, you know, we're looking at like $2 billion of revenue per week that could be generated by the end of the year. So, I mean, thinking about where they were last year at about 50 billion. So going to the end of this year, if we're looking at 2 billion per week, that's 100 billion. That is a 100% growth year over year. Now, obviously, you know, we're getting to that point. We're not there right now, but that is just, you know, that little piece of information that I pulled out of this to show where we are looking at projection wise for revenue growth in the future. And then that gets us right to earnings that we are going to be getting on Wednesday of this week. So we've got Q1 earnings coming out this week. Obviously, we're going to have a little bit affected by Shanghai, but we do know what production and delivery numbers look like. And they came in at consensus estimates, which were adjusted down slightly, but still amazing growth year over year. So this will be amazing to see what the numbers look like. Margins to me are going to be a huge piece. You know, with the two factory ramps, were they able to keep uh, margin numbers higher, especially with the Shanghai plant being closed for a couple of weeks? So we'll see what the numbers look like on Wednesday. Uh, let me know what your predictions are for margins. Do you think they are going to hit 30% vehicle margins again? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and feedback. If you have not subscribed, please do so down below. Sign yourself up for notifications. I am over on Twitter at OracleTim1. I share all of the latest Tesla news, pertinent stock market information, and all of my daily trades. Thank you so much. Have a great one.